Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This is another side of the coin of the question, why should you choose botany? Whether you should choose botany as your career option in 2024, 2025, 2026 in India or not. We have talked about the top three reasons to choose botany as your career option. But this video is about the top three reasons not to choose as botany as your career option in, in India in 2025. So what are the three reasons I would not pick if I want, I'm concerned about these three reasons so let's begin. The very first reason is true for any different disciplines or any interdisciplines of life sciences. That is limited job opportunities and low starting salary. Although you can get some job after botany and because there is jobs in the biopharmaceuticals, there are jobs in the uh, Ayurvedic industries, there will be jobs in the uh, plant breeding, uh, there are crop developments uh, out there. So all these different private agencies are out there. They offer salary 2.5 lakh to 4 lakh per annum. Yes, you heard me right. 2.5 to 4 lakh per annum is the amount that they provide you. And this salary that they provide you at the beginning, at the beginning obviously, is not at per to the standard industry standard. So that is something. And also the vari variety of the job that is available out there is low. But I still believe that yes, compared to zoology, the job of botany field is still there because naturaceutical companies are growing rapidly in India and they are recruiting a lot of botanists in their field, uh, in, in multiple positions in their company. So, so that kind of job you can get. Yeah, you can get a salary as a teacher in school as well as in colleges. But again, a college teacher requires a different set of a degree and qualifications which will take more time. School teaching requires less but again you need to invest in beard and all the other eligibility criteria in order to get in there. Now the second reason not to choose botany as your career option is that heavy dependence on high or higher education. Now one, uh, one who just complete graduation in botany, BSc in botany, you cannot consider yourself doing worthwhile things at the field of botany after just graduation. Even after graduation your dose of uh, to entry points will not be that much open because a BSc in botany is not generally recruited by R&D of the nutraceuticals. They require MSc or PhD candidates. So you need to go for a long run. BSc, MSc, sometimes BSc, MSc and PhD. All these things are required. And if you want to get into research field, then obviously you need to devote more time. You need to do graduation, masters, uh, PhD, postdoctoral studies, then you can get into the lectureship positions to teach in colleges and universities or you get into uh, the positions to teach uh, or you get into the position to research. But yeah, if you want to teach uh, school students and uh, for NEET and other, other parts plus two, for those, a lot of recruitment is there from Indian edtech companies and also edtech MNCs where they hire botany and zoology graduates where you can apply if you are good at teaching skill in that case you can get in their job and government job like the BSI CSIR position that generally opens up have huge competition because there will be too many graduates of botany competing with each other to get into that field. So yes, the salary is good in that case of government jobs, central government jobs are out there, the perks are good. But again, in that case, the competition will be more. Consider that because you are in India, so competition in every single discipline is huge. So it is nothing new for botany, nothing different for botany. It is the same for all. The third reason not to choose botany as your career option, it is difficult to find because I believe botany still is recruitable at this moment. But what I believe is a lack of industry integration. That's what I think is the third reason not to choose botany as a career option. Because botany as a classical biology subject is not evolving that fast compared to that of the biotechnology or microbiology or biochemistry field which is evolving much much faster uh, in a much faster rate. So uh, the integration of data driven science, AI based science uh, is still uh, far away from botany so that will take some time and also the roles in startups are limited compared to still I'll, if you compare botany with zoology I'd say for botany it's still out there for zoology it's even more uh, related uh, even more or less but but in case of botany it's still out there for R&D positions but in nutraceuticals companies in Ayurveda, Ayurveda companies agricultural uh, institutes or agricultural companies environmental uh, science Projects are the places where uh, there is an option but again the entry point to those have a bottleneck where you require a lot of effort 
and a competition, high competition to get into. And the, and the entrepreneurship opportunities are out there, but obviously it's not the cup of tea for every individual because people generally have a wiring in your head that we need to do graduation master's, basically we need to do job, right? So when, when you have job in your mind, then entrepreneurship in that particular field of uh, study is becoming really, really fading at this moment. But, but uh, that's the niche area. But you can get into that. I always believe a botanist have the capability to get into there because a botanist can control the production of different uh, product, food products that we eat. Okay, be it stevia, for example. Uh, like 15 years ago, people came to me regarding the stevia production because I knew uh, the plant tissue culture. So I guided uh, them regarding how to set up labs and all. So you can do the industrial consultation like that. These kind of things you can do, right? If you're good at something, you can uh, introduce that knowledge to do something in a uh, in an industrial scale, right? Somebody who knows business will capitalize that, but you can be a part of that team in order to guide them to establish that, and you can be a part of that. As a uh, if you if you become a part of a startup at the very beginning, and if the startup gets big, really good, then you can not only get to do what you love that is your botany subject or field but also you can make a hell lot of money right so that is out there but there is the opportunity right now for the data driven science in botany is still limited which we believe still in 2025 even after one and a half years of chat gpt and ai revolution uh, and still i believe it is it will take some time for india to reach there so that is the third reason i'll choose not to find or figure out uh, botany as the suitable career option. So these are the three different reasons that I mentioned regarding uh, not to choose botany as a career option in India. But if you want to know what are the three reasons that I love to choose botany as a career option in India, watch that video too because that video is also present. I'm not going to say that botany is bad because I said three reasons why botany is bad. I also said three reasons why botany is very good. Now compare them and decide based on your nature as a person which features are good for you which features are bad for you based on that you decide and then you get into that okay so in that way you can reach success in the field of botany i believe this video helps you out if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye